What's up guys? Trainer Mike here back for Flex Friday workout of the day and um, we're training in the office today. So like a lot of you, um, I've been training at home for the past several weeks. Uh, looking forward to the gyms opening soon. I know mine opens tomorrow. Um, when does you guys gym open? Comment below. I'd be curious to know when you guys are going to get back into an actual gym. But um, for today, because I know a lot of people are still training at home, we wanted to go through an in-home workout. Now, today's workout is from home because we normally would be in a squat rack and we would be deadlifting down to just below our knees and pulling back up. So what we have here is I've got some dumbbells and a bench. And we're gonna do three sets of 10 here for these rack pulls. Now the rack pulls are meant to hit primarily the back. Because we're not going into a full stretch like we would on a deadlift, we're not gonna get as much hamstring activation here, but it's inevitable that we're gonna get some. So primarily back, a great, great exercise to start off a pull workout with or a back workout. So if you're looking for that way to hit your back but kind of keep your legs out of it a little more, try the rack pull. If you're at home, grab a bench, grab a chair, a stable one, um, and you're just coming down to about knees and then we're coming back up. We're trying to keep our back straight here and really focus on keeping those shoulder blades together as we come up. So here we go, three sets of 10, really, really controlled here because it is a lighter weight. So if you're dealing with a lighter weight at home, make sure that you're really doing controlled reps and that's gonna help make sure that you get the higher intensity with a lighter resistance. So here we go, three sets of 10, straight back, pull with the back, let's go. modified one obviously at home so instead of coming down letting that muscle really stretch and then coming back up we're setting the weight down and then lifting it back up again so we're able to re-engage those muscles so here we go guys set two on the rack pull at home as always staying hydrated got some essential amino acids today and we're going to put this workout to work okay here we go so similar to an RDL, legs stay straight. Definitely getting hamstrings activated here, but we're trying to target the back primarily. Here we go. Two sets down. We're gonna do one more here. Three sets of 10 reps. You guys have questions, ask them. We'll do our best to try and answer those. So um, we will see what we got coming in from you guys. So let's, um, let's go ahead and hit some of the questions that we have. So a lot of people have been having challenges. We get a lot of questions about training back at home. Like it's really, really hard to train back at home. I know that's one of the things a lot of people are looking forward to the most in getting back to the gym is to be able to train back on some of the machines. So with that being said, you know, when you're at home, try and take advantage of, again, that tempo, okay? So if, if you are really trying to make sure that you are increasing your intensity, training with just bands or lighter dumbbells, slow down your movement, particularly that negative. So, um, very good stuff. So somebody's asking if I'll be at Axiom on Saturday, Saturday since it plans to open, absolutely. So my gym opens tomorrow, 7 a.m. Um, I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna train some chest tomorrow. I'm dying to get that chest workout in at the gym. What are you guys training first day back? First day back at the gym, what are your plans? I know a lot of people are hitting legs. Um, a lot of people plan to hit back. I think people are just excited to start training again with some actual equipment. Okay, here we go. Set three. This will be our last set on these modified rack pulls. Boop.
here we go. I'm gonna set my dumbbells down, get ready for our next exercise that we have coming in. So ask questions, guys. We'll do our best to answer them as they come in. I know we got a question here from YouTube. Um, it's the best exercise to do if I only have access to dumbbells. Well, it depends on what you're trying to train. There's a lot you can get done with just dumbbells. Um, I really like shoulder exercises with dumbbells and bands. There seems to be a lot of versatility that you can get in training the shoulders with very, very minimal equipment. So definitely else. Uh, somebody asked if, you know, about the power blocks. So yeah, these are power blocks that I'm using here at home. They're not awesome. Like I prefer dumbbells at the gym, but you know, we definitely take advantage of what we have available. Um, let's see. So next we're going to go to, you know, a pullover. So the program calls for an assisted pull up at this point in time, but because we obviously don't have an assisted pull up machine available here, we are going to go ahead and do it a little differently. We're going to do a pull up, pull over. Now the pull over, I don't really love them, but, um, you know, I think it's a good option for you if you have a dumbbell at home and you are trying to get the most out of it. So here we go. We're gonna go into pullover. If you have a bench, great, use your bench. If you don't have a bench, totally fine. Just use, uh, lay on the ground and use that for your bench there. Really, really slow here, very controlled. I actually love the kind of stretch that you can get on a dumbbell pullover when you do it right. So here we go, dumbbell pullover. Trying to hit those lats. So three sets of 12 is the target that we're aiming for, for this exercise. That was a little light, so I'll go up um, just a little bit on the next set. Now it's important with the dumbbell pullover, as you come forward, you wanna try not to rest at the top. So don't come all the way until your arms are perpendicular to the ground, because in that case, you're, you don't have any resistance. So we wanna keep that constant tension on the muscle. Um, couple questions from YouTube, we'll answer. In between sets here, as a beginner, should I be taking creatine? There's no downside to taking creatine as a beginner. Um, you may want to start off by just getting a good handle on your nutrition, knocking out your compound movements, and then add it in six to eight weeks down the road. Um, next question, YouTube. You know, what's your calorie intake looking like these days? You know, for me, I try and average about 3,200 calories per day. Now I do that between low days and high days. So I'll do um, you know, typically three high days per week where I really push the calories and then four low days per week, but averaging about that 32 to 3,400. Um, can you use dumbbells instead of power blocks? Absolutely. I just have the power blocks available, so that's what I'm using. Um, another question from YouTube. I'm looking to get a huge pump in my arms. What biceps exercise should I be doing? I'm gonna show you some in just a minute here. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you some awesome exercises to do for the biceps. All right. I'm going to up my weight a little bit because I'm feeling strong and swole today. No pun intended. Here we go. Ah.
little extra weight definitely did the trick there. So it's okay to have a slight bend in your arms as you do this exercise. The goal is you just don't want to increase. So you don't want to have the arm, the elbow bending, flexing during the movement. But it's okay if you have it a little bend, but try and keep the majority of the movement through the shoulders there. All right, from YouTube, what are the best exercises to hit the long head of the triceps? You know, long head of the triceps, I always, so here's how I like to look at triceps training. You always want to include some kind of press down, right? So whether that's a rope cable extension, V-bar, and you always want to include something overhead. And by doing that, you're going to make sure you hit all three heads of the triceps. There it is, three sets of 12 on the dumbbell pullover, really trying to target the lats there. And um, good exercise, if you can control it right. A lot of people feel that more in their chest, so you gotta make sure that you're really making that strong mind-muscle connection with the lats, and do that by getting a good stretch in with every single rep. Um, very good stuff. All right guys, so YouTube, Got a couple questions there. What are your recommended essential supplements for a beginner? Beginner should have a good multivitamin, absolutely. A good whey protein powder and a good fish oil would be my top three that I recommend for a beginner, regardless of whether you're trying to build muscle or whether you're trying to um, lean out. So good question, very good question. So next up is a seated row. Another one that can be a little hard to hit at home. So we gotta get creative when it comes to how we do this. Now, we have some uh, we have some bands here that we're gonna utilize for our seated row. And bands, look guys, bands can be really, really awesome. Um, you just have to make sure that you're finding the right tension. So for the seated row, we may have to play around with where we seat ourselves to make sure that we find the right tension for resistance. And here we're going three sets of 15. We want to feel a really, really good stretch, a really good contraction. And I'm really hoping that these bands do not come unconnected and whack me. If they do, it's your win. You'll get a good laugh for the day. Uh, for me, probably not so fun, but uh, that's all part of training at home, right? So we're going to come out here, find the right foot position. And the key here is to find a good seat position as well. If it feels a little too easy, we have to move back. If it feels too, too hard, we're gonna have to move forward. Three sets of 15 here. Move back a little bit more. Try and get the most out of it. It's a little light, so we're gonna try and move back even a little more for the next time to get the most out of that. But if, again, if you guys, if you feel like the bands are really light for you, try slowing your tempo down and also getting that pause at the back where you really squeeze your shoulder blades together and let it sit there. And that's gonna help increase the intensity of the workout as well. So a couple questions here from YouTube. You guys have questions, ask them below. We'll do our best to answer them. Um, you know, so we have, how much weight should I be using for the pullover? You know, enough to get 12 reps in. And the 12 reps need to be done properly, but you should be training close to muscular failure. So you shouldn't have much more than, you know, one to two reps left in the tank. Facebook, when's the best time to take creatine? Creatine can be taken anytime. You know, creatine is not one of those acute supplements like caffeine, so it builds up in your bloodstream over time. So you can really take it any time. I like just throwing mine in my post-workout shake. Makes it super easy there. Um, from Facebook, lost some of my gains. How can I regain them quickly? They'll come back quicker than you think. Make sure you got your protein in. 
at one gram per pound, start lifting heavy again, but don't rush into it. Okay, so you gotta ease yourself back up into doing as many sets and reps as you were doing before. Uh, from YouTube, any other exercises for lats? Yes, stay tuned. I got a great one for lats here in just a minute. Facebook, whey protein is difficult to digest. Any other, any other choices? Try a whey protein isolate, and even more so, a hydrolyzed whey protein isolate if you have trouble digesting protein. That's gonna be the easiest on the stomach. If that still bothers you, you may need to look into um, you know, some kind of uh, like a vegetarian option, so like a pea and rice mix. And to supplement your diet, and it just makes, it will help accelerate the results, but you don't need it to gain muscle. Um, let's see here, we got a question from Facebook, again, or Instagram, excuse me. Um, 30 years old and skinny, can you please suggest what to do to get muscular? You know, building muscle is going to be primarily geared around your nutrition. So you have to make sure that you're consuming more calories than you're burning on a daily basis. So measure your weight, measure your body fat. If you are not gaining, you have to eat more. It's as simple as that. And make sure you put that priority on protein. One gram per pound is a good place to be. Okay, final set here on the seated row. We're gonna really try and get the most out of this exercise here. Really come back. guys seated rows are done we did three sets of 15 there nice slow controlled tempo and now we are going to start with we're gonna get going a little more on some of the lats but we're gonna do supersets here so for the supersets we're trying to work right from one muscle group to the next with very very limited rest in between to really make sure that we maximize these sets. So as you're doing these supersets, whether you're at home or at the gym, we want to make sure that we move very, very quickly, right from one to the next to get the most out of these. And for this exercise, we're actually going to do um, here using resistance bands. But I'm going to do this in a kneeling position. So again, when you're dealing with the supersets, very, very important that we find a way to move quickly from one set to the next to get the most out of it. We're going to go higher reps here, actually to really get the most out of it. So, you know, as we kind of innovate here and try and come up with a good way to target these on the fly, I'm gonna show you guys a great option. If you have a bench, you can adjust. Great, if you don't have a bench, no problem. Try doing this on the floor, it works just the same. We're gonna use our resistance bands that we've had right here. So we're gonna superset between what I call a lat pull. So if you're at home and you're wondering, man, how can I do a lat pull down? This is a great alternative option for you to be able to do that. Here we go. reps this is a high rep back workout here so now we're going to move the bench and a lot of people are asking about lat exercises so we're going to go into a straight arm pull here so straight back and we're coming straight back into a lat pull here Uh, 
Lats are definitely feeling it for using just bands here at home. It's amazing what you can get done with a little bit of innovation. Um, couple questions here. YouTube, what's the best way to get a six pack? Diet, it's the diet. Guys, your six pack is going to be revealed based off being in that calorie deficit and being able to lose fat so you can reveal it. Now there are good ab exercises that you can do. Train abs three times per week, but diet will reveal your abs. Um, question for Facebook, I need a gym environment to give 150%. I can relate. Um, can't do that at home, just how many, just how my mind works. And you know, you're not alone. A lot of people feel the same way. It's hard to go really, really hard at home. Um, so as you guys are training at home, just try and keep in mind, you know, it's better to get some workout in than no workout. You can't train at home and expect it to be just as intense as your gym workout. But sometimes it's just about not going backwards. So if you can train at home and just maintain your strength and your size, then when you get back in the gym, hit 150% and start shooting for those next goals. Okay guys, here we go. Heart rate is up. We're feeling really good here. Coming back into the lat pulls on the bench. Here we go. I'm gonna cross these over, try and get just a wee bit of added resistance. into the lap pulls. Again, supersets. We've got to move quick if we want to take full advantage of these. Here we go. Uh, 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 it's a failure on that second one where we really couldn't do a lot more. So making sure we stay hydrated during the workout. I like doing essential amino acids during my workout. So a lot of times on the supersets, we're only gonna work through two, maybe three sets. We're not gonna do a ton of sets here because we're increasing the intensity by moving right from one exercise to the next. Woo, all right, YouTube. What's the best tip for working out at home? Take pre-workout. Seriously, guys, it's not a plug. You guys are training at home, you know, that's when you really need something like a pre-workout. Try knocking down 300 milligrams of caffeine and then wanting to sit on the couch. Not gonna happen, okay? YouTube, is creatine safe? Absolutely. Creatine is safe so long as you don't have any pre-existing medical conditions. A um, lot of studies proving creatine safety and efficacy. Um, YouTube, what are your bands tied to? It's actually uh, a foot of the couch, okay? So it seems pretty stable to me. You gotta, sometimes you gotta take some risks when training at home, but it uh, seems pretty stable to me. Okay, now we move to cable rear delt fly, all right? So for this one, we're gonna use the same bands that are, well, we're gonna use a, a different kind of resistance here. And we're gonna come straight out to the side as a rear delt fly, okay? So our goal here is to target those rear delts. And to do that, we're trying to limit our shoulder blade activity so we can just come straight out to the side, okay? Cross them over, check it out, guys. Now, bands provide progressive resistance, which means it's gonna get harder as you move throughout your range of motion there. So it starts off feeling really, really easy, but then as you come higher and higher, it gets harder and harder. So that's why I like doing that little pause at the top when it comes to 
any kind of any kind of training with bands. Um, Facebook, I need some body weight shoulder and bicep exercises. Um, shoulder ones, you always do like a handstand push up or a modified handstand push up. Like I'll do it where I put my feet up on the couch and pike up and do a handstand push up from there. Bicep exercises with just your body weight are pretty hard. Try grabbing like a backpack or a suitcase, filling it up with some weight and doing bicep curls with that to make it you know a little easier for you. All right, rear delt fly using the bands. Let's go cross them over and let's get it done. just tuning in this is from the swollen strong program um, body fit we're doing a modified version here to get it done at home um, but a great workout it's a six-week program to build as much size and strength in a six-week period as possible uh, a couple more questions from YouTube suggestion for some motivational songs during your workout you know I, I what I've come to realize everybody likes listening to different stuff while they work out you know me personally I like uh, listening to a podcast called Club Life by Tiesto. It's my type of music, and I really like listening to that while I work out. Check it out if you guys like that kind of music. Um, YouTube, is it okay to never stop taking creatine? Yeah, there's no, there's no research that would indicate that you need to cycle off creatine. Um, I like to just a couple weeks a year. Like if I know that I'm taking a break from training, I don't take creatine. Um, you know, so if I go on vacation or something. I typically use that as an opportunity to cycle off, but there's no real like health need to. And um, YouTube, what are the benefits of a drag curl? You know, drag curl has some benefits, you know, for, you know, potentially, you know, just getting a little bit of variety, a little different angle as you, as you come back on those biceps. Personally, I don't like it. Um, that's just me. I know some people that really get a good activation out of it, but uh, you know, the benefits would be you're getting that curl from a different angle as you draw your elbow back. So final set here, rear delt flies. Here we go. Cross them over and roll. There we go, guys. We just got in those rear delt flies. It's a pull day. So we're not just doing like back and biceps. We want to make sure that we hit the rear delt as well. So now we're going to move on to the fun part. And I say the fun part because we are going to move on and start really hammering those biceps with supersets. So we have an incline dumbbell curl, and we're going to superset that with a band curl. So we're going to start off by grabbing our bench. If you guys don't have a bench, lean up against the couch or something. We're gonna do an incline curl, and then we're gonna pop up, strap the band under our feet, and do a curl there. So this is one of my favorite arm supersets. So when I get questions about like, you know, how, what's your favorite exercise for building arms? You know, this is one of my favorite supersets right here, guys. And it doesn't take a lot of weight at all. This one can be done at home with just bands and some lighter dumbbells. So I'm gonna go Probably about 30 pounds on my, for my resistance here on the incline curls. And then we'll pop up and hit those band curls as well. And I'm confident that this is going to absolutely blow those biceps up. curls now we're popping right up this is a superset so we will go right into some band curls here bands under the feet and really focus on targeting those biceps 
Goal here is 15 reps. Bicep supersets are some of the best for just producing a massive pump and a lot of burn in the bicep. So what are some do-it-yourself equipment hacks? Man, you can use a couch for a lot of stuff. So like if I were to do like... failure there. I'm going to rack those up. Man, those burn. When you guys do those incline curls right, they burn so good. Now we're going to back up here and do our band curls for biceps, trying to move as quickly as possible here. So here we go. Definitely feeling the burn on that guy. And working up a good little sweat too. It's time to crack a window here in the home gym office to get this stuff done. So feeling the pump come in. It's a good feeling. Um, working these supersets for biceps here. And um, you know, as you guys are going through this, again, swollen strong program on body fit. If you're looking for that way to, to incorporate strength and hypertrophy at the same time, so muscle building and growing, and building strength at the same time, awesome program for you. Um, we work through push, pull, legs, okay? And we train each muscle group two times per week. One day is a heavier day, and then days like today are a lighter day. So in this program, we do a heavy upper body pull day earlier on in the week, and now we're doing a lighter pull day as well. All right, when building a home gym, what piece of equipment should I plan on getting first? You know, it really kind of depends. You need a barbell, okay? Barbell and some weights, probably a good place to start. And then move into a good squat rack there and then a bench. And you can do a lot with stuff like that. Um, are you going to do more of these live workouts? If you guys want them, comment below. It's supply and demand. You guys demand it, we'll supply it. So we're planning on doing these like every Friday. We'll do some in the gym as we get back to, um, you know, being having the opportunity to do that. Okay, now we're going to move on to... Our next exercises. So we're gonna do a spider curl here, is what we're gonna do for this exercise. And so for the spider curl, we're looking for a way, I'll try and give you guys a good angle here as we do this. And we're gonna superset this with a hammer curl. And so I'm gonna do the hammer curl with my bands, but we're gonna do the spider curl with the bench. And we're gonna find, hopefully, the best way to really do this. So for a spider curl, we're trying to lean over the bench a little bit here and really open our biceps up. So let's see how this works out. For the spider curl, arms up. Biceps going a great way to isolate the biceps if you can find something to really lean over like that. And then we're going to superset this with a hammer curl. We're going to use our bands here, but because we want a hammer grip, we're not actually going to grab the handle. We're going to grab just below the handle here 
I'm gonna do alternating hammer curls. when you're training biceps to incorporate um, supinated or palms up, you know, curls into your routine and also try and do some of those neutral curls as well. The neutral curls or the hammer style is where we're gonna hit the brachialis. We're just gonna build that thickness kind of on the outside of the bicep there and build that thick arm where it has the open arm supinated curl is gonna build more of that roundness to the actual bicep there. Um, YouTube, how many, how much water or branched chain amino acids should I be drinking during my workout? It kind of depends on how much you sweat, how long your workout is. You know, I typically go through about 32 ounces. Um, you know, the recommend, recommendation I think is every 15 minutes, you know, to have like at least eight ounces of water during intense exercise. Um, what do you drink for post-workout? Yeah, I go straight to a whey protein isolate. I do 50 grams of whey protein isolate. Immediately following my workout, I do that with five grams of glutamine and seven grams of creatine monohydrate for that one. All right, guys, final set of the workout here. Swollen strong, light upper body pull. We're gonna go with the spider curl here. And then we are gonna superset that with the hammer curl to make sure we're working all areas of the biceps. Let's go. Wow, it's amazing the kind of arm workout you can get. And arms are pretty easy to train at home. We have a little more trouble with some of our larger muscle groups, but um, definitely pretty easy to get them using just bands and dumbbells. So um, a lot of people want to know the name of the bench.